Today, we're embarking on a culinary journey that's as old as time itself. Picture this, a time when Instagram was just a twinkle in the universe's eye, and Gordon Ramsay would have probably traded his chef's hat for a loincloth. I'm your food storyteller, and this is Food Storian, where we dig deep into the delicious history of the grub we love. Before we dive into the tasty abyss of the first food in history, make sure you've subscribed, rang that notification bell, and grabbed a snack. Because trust me, you're going to want one. Now, let the gastronomic time travel begin. So here we are in the Paleolithic era, a time when our ancestors were basically the MacGyvers of survival. They've just discovered this thing called fire, and you can almost hear them saying, Hold my spear, I've got an idea! Cooking was a real-life episode of Primitive Kitchen Nightmares. Imagine caveman Yelp reviews. Ugh, Grug's mammoth skewers, charred on the outside, raw on the inside. But let's cut them some slack. They were onto something groundbreaking, or should I say, fire-making. The first food in history might very well have been roasted meat. Picture our ancestors sitting around a campfire, sharing stories and munching on sizzling skewers of mastodon. It's like the world's first barbecue party. So while they might not have had food bloggers to document their culinary triumphs, our Paleolithic pals were the OG grill masters, experimenting with the very essence of flavor. Fast forward a few eons and we find ourselves in the hustle and bustle of ancient Mesopotamia. It's like the Times Square of the past, but with more spices and fewer selfie sticks. This was the cradle of civilization, where they didn't just invent writing. They also birthed some of the world's earliest and most iconic dishes. Now imagine a Mesopotamian bake-off, aprons made of reeds and ovens that could double as wrestling opponents. What was their go-to comfort food? Bread. Yes, the original staff of life, to crusty goodness and the joy of not eating raw wheat. They might not have had TikTok to share their cooking hacks, but their culinary creations were etched in clay. A bit different from your grandma's secret recipe card, huh? Now welcome to the land of pharaohs, pyramids, and more mysteries than an episode of an ancient culinary CSI. It's time to unlock the secrets of Egyptian eats in this grand civilization, where every meal felt like a feast fit for a king or queen. What graced their tables? Drumsticks? Perhaps exotic fruits? No, 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 they were all about that grain and beer life. Imagine a banquet with Cleopatra, to ruling the Nile and having a darn good time doing it. It turns out the Egyptians were the OG grain enthusiasts. From flatbreads to porridge, they knew how to turn the humble grain into a royal delicacy. They might not have had Gordon Ramsay critiquing their culinary skills, but they had recipes etched in scrolls that would make any food historian drool. Fasten your seatbelts, food explorers. We're now embarking on a journey along the legendary Silk Road, the ancient highway of spice, flavor, and a touch of sass. Imagine a bustling marketplace where the air is thick with the aroma of exotic spices. This was the culinary Silk Road, where daring traders risked it all for the flavors that would transform history. Picture this. Traders arguing over the price of cinnamon like it's the modern stock market. Two sacks of pepper for that saffron? Are you out of your mind? But oh, the treasures they brought. Pepper, cinnamon, cloves. These weren't just spices. They were the rock stars of the ancient culinary scene. Spices weren't just for flavor. They were a status symbol. The more exotic your spice collection, the cooler you were. It's like ancient bling for your kitchen. And there you have it, my foodie comrades. The first food in history might be as elusive as a Yeti in a snowstorm. But one thing's for sure. Our ancestors knew how to throw a feast. If you've enjoyed this gastronomic time travel, hit that like button, share it with your fellow food enthusiasts, and let's keep this historical foodie party going. Until next time, keep exploring the delicious chapters of our past right here on Foodstorian.